Hi everybody, it's Jonathan Scott of the Big Cat People at home here in Nairobi. How many more times am I going to say that? Because of course, I'd love to be on safari in the Maasai Mara, watching all those big cats with my darling Angie. But the fact is, we're still under lockdown. We're still having to be careful. Eight months, it's going to be headed towards nine months. Maybe it's going to be a year, but whatever it takes, life is too precious. Don't throw away your life or anybody else's by taking unnecessary chances. But when you do get the chance to make a safari, you know where to come. And we'll be there. And we'll be there to say hello to you. Now today, this is behind the scenes of one of our favorite images. Uh, our son David and his uh, fiancée Tori said, just choose any of the pictures in the fine art collection. Limited edition, open edition. And so I had a quick look through and I came across this picture of a chimpanzee called Frodo. And I took that picture when I was incredibly excited to be filming and presenting my first television series for the BBC Animal Planet, and it was called Dawn to Dusk. And Dawn to Dusk was six African adventures, and one of those adventures was to go to Gombe National Park in Tanzania on the shores of Lake Tanganyika and go in search of the chimpanzees that Jane Goodall, the wonderful Jane Goodall, inspiration to all of us, incredible lady, still going strong, must be so frustrated, locked down, unable to do what she does, which is almost 300 days a year, spread the message of protect nature. And anyway, we got the chance and I went to talk to Charlotte Ullenbrook, um, who herself became a TV presenter, um, a biologist, zoologist who had been studying chimpanzees. And it was during that time that I came across a chimpanzee who fortunately didn't leave a mark on me, but he left a huge impression. And his name was Frodo, and he was to become the alpha male at Gombe National Park. And so my pick behind the scenes of a fine art print from our gallery, our fine art gallery, is a picture of Frodo. And it's called The Eye of the Beholder. And in fact, you're going to see it any minute now because, of course, our darling Tori is so tech savvy, you'll be seeing a picture while I'm saying it. But I'm going to look for it anyway in the chapter which was on Tanzania man's closest relatives and there's one of the smaller chimps and we will get to Frodo here but first I actually want to show you a picture of Frodo's brother because when I went to Gombe so there's Frodo and his brother so they were part of the F family their mother was a legendary chimpanzee called Fifi. Now here you can see one of the chimps being groomed and this was Freud. So he was the alpha male at the time, Frodo's brother. And I have never forgotten hiking with Charlotte who was as fit as a whistle, just headed up. I looked like I'd been in a, a sauna and <laughs> so I was constantly chasing after Charlotte to get up where the action was. And we met, my first chimpanzee, proper sighting of a chimpanzee, was Frodo's brother, Freud. And I came around the corner and there he was sitting, leaning back against a tree with one leg crossed over the other. I mean, he could almost have been smoking a pipe. And with those hazel brown eyes, he just looked into my eyes and there was this incredible sense down through the ages back through millennia a connection to our primate relatives but Frodo Frodo was a huge I mean I think he weighed about 55 kilos which is a giant of a chimpanzee and Frodo really was the chimp I think he thought he was a gorilla but he certainly bossed everybody else around I mean he was a fighter he was an alpha male eventually and um he was also an ace hunter of red colobus because you probably have heard and seen on television scenes of chimpanzees going out to hunt other primates, other monkeys, in this case red colobus. And they act in tandem together and then 
the spoils are broken up. And Frodo was a big part of that kind of scenario as well. But I'll never forget, so we're now filming this episode with Charlotte on the chimpanzees and of course Frodo's, you know, such an impressive chimp that we're going to be talking about him too. <laughs> and I look up the path and, you know, wonderful moment for the cameraman who's just behind my shoulder. He's got me in the foreground and here comes Frodo, it turns out, with all just bristling in one of these dominant displays and he's whooping and he's grabbing branches and he's coming down towards us. And I say, I turn to the camera and say, oh, you know, here, here comes one of the chimps. I wonder who this is. At which point he grabbed our wonderful producer, Robin Hellier, by the ankle and literally pulled him off his feet and just dragged him along the path a little way and then just sort of dropped him as if to say, there you go. You know who the boss is. But I then made a fatal error with this chimp, this character, because of course, you know, this is what we love about the big cats, understanding the individual characters. Well, Frodo, thank goodness, Frodo was what we call a thumper. When he got aggressive and, you know, would turn on a human being, he would thump you as opposed to bite her. So there's thumpers and biters. Thank God Frodo was a thumper. And Jane Goodall, I think, had a very, very sore neck from a, a thumping from Frodo. But anyway, so now, later on in the filming, we had been warned, we all had back, backpacks, mine of course laden with sweat, from hiking up, tripping over the vines, tripping over, uh, you know, everything. And um, we'd been told, don't put your rucksacks down, or if you do, keep them right next to you and don't take your eye off them. Well, of course, I got distracted. Next thing I know, up goes my low pro rucksack with my 300, my precious 300 2.8 and a camera body hoisted up into the trees by Frodo. And he gathered this sort of coterie of other chimps all excitedly around my rucksack because of the sweat, the salt on the backpack. So they were licking and just having the time of their life. And I'm looking up 30 feet into this fig tree or whatever kind of tree it was, thinking that is a 3,000 pound lens and probably a 2,000 pound camera. And the next minute they got tired of it and they just dropped it. Well, thank goodness for low pro. I mean, if you ever want to trust your equipment, your equipment, well then have a bunch of chimps, take it up into a tree and then just ceremoniously drop it. So one of the reasons I want to tell you about these prints is because there is a very exciting offer and I'm going to read it here so as I don't make a cock up and I give you the exact details. So you hear all this thing about Black Sunday, you know, go out and spend money. Well, we're calling a Green Friday sale and it will say, the sale is from November the 27th to November the 30th. So 27th of November to the 30th. And during that time, all the prints, all the prints on the website, we will be offered at a discount of 25%. Now that's a bargain. And we'll donate 10% of the sales to Conservation International, one of the conservation groups that we believe in and that we support to help empower societies to responsibly and sustainably care for nature and maintain global biodiversity. So this particular organization, they highlight the critical benefits that nature provides to humanity. And we're just finalizing the last bits and pieces of our next book. Sacred Nature, second volume. We already did Sacred Nature, Life's Eternal Dance. Sacred Nature, nature reconnecting people to our planet. And just to come back to Frodo for a minute, this particular picture, it was taken with an 85 mil lens with a very wide opening so I could let in lots of light. And of course, it's quite dark in amongst the foliage. And there was this opportunity to do a number of things that really tend to make for great portraits. In this instance, I wanted to try and convey the power and impressiveness of this extraordinary primate. And so I could get down low. He was sitting on a sort of ledge. I could get down low. I could get relatively close. I could get a shallow depth of field with my lens. I could darken the background. 
and there you have this portrait. And the light, it was side lit. And of course, for portraiture, you want to be able to model your subject. So you have highlights and you have shadows. And so you really bring out the relief of this extraordinary chimpanzee. I mean, it is an impressive picture. Put that up on your wall and remember Frodo's life story. Now he died in, he lived from 19... 76, so he was 20 when we filmed him in 96, to 2013, so he was 36, 37. Freud, who he had actually displaced, his older brother, had been displaced by Frodo, Frodo in a takeover for alpha male status. Uh, Freud outlived him, and he lived to 42 years of age. So, I mean, great old age. Just remembered, actually, that's the age my dad died at. Not such a great old age. But anyway, so a wonderful picture. And I think I've given you all of the information and just a charismatic creature and something to end on, something which is so relevant today. You know, these are our closest relatives, the chimps, the gorillas, the orangutans. As I say, when I looked into Freud's eyes, I just felt this connection. And then think, thank goodness for people like Jane Goodall, who helped to move, to put force medical establishments to be kinder to their primates, their chimpanzees, which they were using to try and create safe vaccines, drugs for human beings. But what a cost. You know, sometimes these very social animals kept in solitary confinement. And so she did and continues to do a huge amount speaking out on behalf of our closest relatives. And sadly, at this very minute, somewhere in the world, around dinner or lunchtime, somebody will be eating our closest relative because primate bushmeat trade, it's a delicacy, it's a luxury to eat these extraordinary creatures. And so they're under threat. But there you go, Frodo. So thank you so much. Remember, special offer, just going to remind myself, 27th to the 30th of November, 25% off of any print in our fine art collection. And there are some absolute ace pictures there. And I hope you feel this is one of them. Okay, bye-bye.